Pelagonia, this is DIY Mom. And today I'm gonna show you how to turn a swinging door into a sliding door. As you can see, this inward swinging door takes up a lot of space in my bathroom. So by turning it into a sliding door, I am going to make this bathroom feel so much bigger. I found this amazing door at Renovators Resource. I love that, that's exactly what I'm looking for. 35 by 80, so I think that's gonna fit perfectly on my upstairs bathroom door. So this is really exciting. If I can carry this door myself, it's pretty heavy. We'll see. I don't want to risk hurting the glass, but I know I can do it. I'm strong. This is what all the Pilates are for, right? I needed a really wide door in order to preserve the original Douglas fir trim that came with my house. So this beveled glass door that I found is perfect and it's going to let the sunlight into my hall. A sliding door system is a lot easier than putting in a pocket door. I bought this barn door hardware from Kent Building Supplies. That's just going to save me a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of mess. Goodbye Mr. Douglas Fir. You were a good door, but you gotta go. All right, that was step one, just getting the door off, and you can already see how much more space this bathroom has. So I bought an inexpensive piece of already primed MDF trim. So I found that I'm marking where my studs are. I have a nice, secure place to screw into. I've got five holes to pre-drill before I put the rail up. It's one of those things where people are gonna say I should be wearing safety glasses probably. <laughs> now to secure the rail, this piece goes behind it and then this piece is gonna be screwed in from the front and that'll secure my rail but also give it a little space from the wall so that the door will be able to slide freely. Look, you can do a chin-up limit. It's really secure. I put this stop on it before I tighten it up so that the door won't hit the wall. So now I'm just propping the door up off the ground so I can attach my wheels without having the door drag on the ground. Sorry, Lennon, your doll just happened to be the perfect size to prop up this door. I'm gonna use this edge as my guide and secure my brackets. I'll mark them first with a pencil. This pretty nut goes on the front hole and then I'm gonna put that through the door and secure these. In opposing direction. Moment of truth. No. 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 Okay. No. Here we go. What do you think, Lennon? Yeah. I you. In order for the door to sit nice and flush and to give it privacy, I took the quarter round off. So that just goes there so that it keeps it from sliding out of place. Stays nice and tight to the wall. What a good helper you are. Okay, come on. Let's close the door. Thanks for watching my DIY mom sliding door tutorial. And to watch more DIY mom videos, go to DIYmom.ca. That's a lot of DIY moms. Bye, thank you for watching.